today's ridiculous theory, we're not looking for 100 million monies, we're looking for 100 million lizards. Hey guys, Vendas here playing some Catriella. Uh, and yeah, we're heading off to Tower Bridge to look for money. Or look for a shady guy that's running away from a bank. Yeah, one of the two. Where do you go, that suspicious looking young man? Hey, the banner's there. Um, that's something I was supposed to spot. <laughs> the little terrier. He's given us the slip again. Oh, hey, the banner's here, by the way. Get games like, if you didn't see this, hey, it's here. Do you see that, Miss Layton? There's a piece of cloth of something flapping about over there, look. Oh, yes, isn't that? It looks like the banner from the bank building. Yeah, the banner of shame, you're right. Why would a banner from the bank have ended up all the way here? Yeah, this is probably related to the wind. That is a puzzler. Hey, it's Douglas Dirt. Ah, hello there. Where you see a late un, there's a story in the make un, as we say in the office now. So come on, what's the dirt? We've not seen you since, like, case one. <laughs> what do you mean, when you see a late un? Like, you've not been anywhere. Over there, you see. There's a banner snagged on the bridge. Caught blimey, so there is. Indeed. Indeed. Perhaps, I think, this could have something to do with that rather strong wind that was blow in just before dawn this morn. Blew itself out almost straight away, mind you. Yes, I think that would explain how that banner has come to be caught on the bridge there. Got blown by the gale. <laughs> All the way from the bank. Gosh, it must have been a veritable hurricane. I didn't notice a thing in the night, though. Enough of this windbaggery now. Dish the dirt. Come on. Me thinks you're working on a case, eh? What's the deal? Remember not to mention the hundred million... The money cash monies. Yeah, it's okay. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Don't worry, Cheryl. I'm afraid we've nothing to tell you, Doug. I'm just out walking my dog. Hmm, I'd like to believe that, but my dirt alarm is bleeping like a radar in the blitz. Okay, well, we, we've solved that prop, that mystery. Let's not give any information to the reporters. Uh, no sign of that suspicious looking chap here at all. Might as well head off the bridge then. I suppose I, I'll lead the way, cat. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright, the banner was blown here in a strong gust of wind. A very strong gust of wind. Is that going to be, yep, yeah, it's one of our little mysteries. It's, it's our little end mystery, in fact, that caps off the uh, the notes. Strong gust just before dawn. Late last night, it seems there was a strong gust of wind that swept down the Thames from the direction of the bank. The bank's banner was carried away. <sighs> I, I think I can see where this case is going. I am... Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, ooh, it's a puzzle. I thought it was a collection thing. I thought those, like... Puffs of smoke denoted collection things, not hidden puzzles. I didn't, don't remember having anything of a hidden puzzle before, but uh, it's, clearly those puffs of smoke are hidden puzzles now. Alright, let's put ourselves to the test. Make sure that we're better than all the rest. we got to be the best, you know. Puzzle number 77, number of numbers. Oh boy. The numbers... <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell the uh, trepidation in my voice? The numbers from 1 to 5 have counted up the number of something about them. 1 has 1. 2 has 1. 3 has 0. 1 has 3. 5 has 2. I'm not going to elaborate any further on that point. <laughs> it's the number of straight lines in the number! It's, uh, yeah, it's very challenging and taxing. It's the number of straight lines they contain, guys. It's the number of straight lines. Yeah. Interestingly, four, uh, four, no matter how you, uh, no matter how you do four, it always has three. When they get up to seven, though, that's where people are going to start disagreeing whether it's two or three, but, you know. <laughs> there we go. Clearly, I mean, if you look at that, those sevens there, then apparently it's one. So, I mean, I think there's going to be three different camps of how many straight line seven has. <laughs> ah, there, I've done it. I knew this puzzle couldn't get the better of me. Well done, Ernest. 
A mission too kind, such high praise from you is worth all the tea in China. He's been struck, so it's only well done. Alright, that was a hidden puzzle. We don't look for any- oh yeah, we're not only for hint coins yet, have we? I just kind of saw the puff of smoke and was like, <gasps> It's smoky! That means it must be okay! That's uh, a sentence that I chose to say right now. Uh, yeah, you're still there. You're still like... So many creepy people in London that just seem to be like possessed. Uh, right, this must be another hint coin somewhere. Right? Am I crazy? I mean, yes, but um, am I am I crazy in this particular instance? Huh? Is that is that? Yeah, maybe. maybe. All right, I'm gonna move on because it's possible that there are only two. We have seen a couple of places where that's been the case. So, all right, we got people to talk to, and they're very close to the edges of the screen. Let's talk to this reporter and tell him everything we know. Uh, have you seen a suspicious looking chap wearing glasses shuffling around these parts? So you are investigating. <gasps> oh no, I've given away my secrets! <laughs> We're just looking for him to ask him something. Okay. Alright, well, that's that's a very good thing to know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I could never rest until I've got the third think coin, but... Well, maybe I already have, or maybe there isn't one. Alright, Yappa. Oh, look, Charlotte, it's your doggy friend again. Oh, him. That guy. Oh, that guy. You might as well ask if you've seen the chat we're looking for, Shell. He might have some useful information. Yes, yeah, it's, it's our underground network of dogs. <laughs> Which I actually think is quite a cool concept. A, it's kind of a concept that I kind of wish they'd lean on a little bit more. Like, obviously, Sherlock's got his underground network of homeless people and stuff, and... Um, I think, I think it'd be really cool to have, like, a, a whole network of dogs that just kind of know stuff. <laughs> How is it hanging hound? Still sleuthing? Yeah, I'm afraid so. Oh, you really work so hard, you know that? So what are you what are you chasing today? Dodgy looking guy wearing glasses. Looks like he's hunted, hunted for something the whole time. Have you seen anyone like that? Well, there was a guy kind of like that who walked past not long ago. I remember because he wasn't looking where he was going and he nearly trod on my paw. <laughs> Can you imagine? Sounds like a man, which way to go? I'm just over there, hound. Across the opposite side of the river. I can't say if he's still there now, though. Yeah, yeah. Because every time we go to the river, we have to check both sides. <laughs> hounds help hounds, right? But yes, I, I'll tell you what. Right now I'm good for eats, but when the going gets tough, maybe you could share one of your bones with me or something. Hmm? Got some biscuits for you all day when I'm for a dessert too. Oh, Shell's so nice. He's got like he's got proper he's got a proper friendship group. <laughs> you find anything out, Shell? He saw a man not long ago. Apparently he was heading for the other side of the river. Over the bridge. Alright, you're not getting away from this this time, Mr. Slim Shady. Yeah, it's wherever he's gone. Every single time. Like, have we ever come to the bridge and only looked at one side of it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I wonder if someone from the bank will come to retrieve the banner. We should let them know it's here. Okay, so that wasn't actually a thing to to investigate. All right, across to the other side of the river, the footpath by the river. Uh, this is yeah, this is where we're gonna, probably going to find uh, the forgetful guy. Uh, yep, the fisherman, fisher guy. He is always always here, always going to be here, always has been here since the day he was born. Uh, and legend has it that if you go to London. You will still find him there. Uh, all right, hint coins. One, two. Uh, buckle my shoe. Where's the third hint coin? Must be there. Can of beans? No. It was on the can of beans before. Someone moved it. On the fishing roll, fishing pole. No. Bridge. 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 It's always the bridge, in it. In it, a uh, guy whose name I can't remember. Hans Lipsky. I'm going out, but there is problem. A problem? Would it help to tell us about it? No, yes. Problem is puzzle. This one. Uh, I can't remember which puzzle number we were up to. No. 79. Ride the rails. There are four railways running parallel to each other, and each has four stations. 
Okay, yep, railways, four of them, four stations, got it, that makes perfect sense. It costs two pounds to travel through unlimited stations on one railway line. It costs one pound per station to travel on a bus that links vertical state. Wait. It costs two pounds to travel through unlimited stations on one railway line. It costs a pound per... This is, like, ridiculously cheap pricing, by the way. This is definitely not a uh, Northern Rail kind of standard. It costs a pound per station to travel on a bus that links vertically adjacent stations on different railway lines. What is the cheapest possible route from the station at the bottom left, taking in all three of the red stations along the way? There is no other possible mode of transport. Literally impossible. Okay, well. One pound per station vertically. Man, that's horrible. Uh, I mean, if we if it says it costs through two pounds to travel through unlimited stations on one railway line, does that mean that we could go like right and then back? So two pounds to go there and get that red station, and then one pound up there. That's three. Uh, I can I can memo mode this actually. This is a, this is a perfect one for memo mode. So we can go there for two. Three. Uh, four. Five. Yeah, we're going to have to use that. Use the rail twice. So, seven? Interestingly, uh, it says what is the cheap, cheapest possible route, but it doesn't actually ask what the actual question is, which I assume is how much would it cost? Uh, I mean, you've got to... So, okay... Think about it pragmatically. You've got a minimum of three pounds in vertical cost. Because there's no other way to get vertical. So you've got a minimum, absolute minimum of three pounds. You also have to move horizontally at least twice because these are not on the same... These, these are all on different levels. So if it allows you to do that, then seven pounds must be, by definition, the cheapest way. Unless there is something that I've completely misunderstood. If this shenanigan's not possible, where you can go, like, back for the same two pounds, then it would be nine pounds. But I think it's seven. It costs two pounds to travel through unlimited stations on one railway line. So, yeah, that implies that... Unlimited implies that you can keep going back and forth. So, I'm going to put seven... Because I don't see, like, just given the sheer amount you have to travel vertically and horizontally, I don't see how that's possible without. This is an interesting one. Yes, okay. I think the twist in the puzzle, because there's always a twist, it's latent, uh, is the fact that you need to realise that you can go back for that same two pounds at the beginning. There's no need to stop. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Or you could just do that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's exactly what I meant by my solution. <clears throat> that, that is, yep, yeah, yeah, that's definitely what I meant. Uh, <laughs> okay. Sure. All right. <laughs> How's that, hands? Does that solve your problem? No, yeah, so this is the answer. Oh, thank you. Oh, I think my, my way would have worked as well. Because usually, I don't know, I guess, you know, I guess in most stations you won't be able to, like, go from platform to platform without going through a ticket barrier, so. I don't know. I don't know. It's just weird how it works, innit? Uh, alright. What about you? Have you got anything to say today? Are you being very forgetful? <laughs> Have you seen a suspicious looking chap? You, you're, a, you're a very reliable source for memory. I feel like I might have done yes. Or did I? It's this puzzle. I feel like I can't concentrate on anything else lately. Or can I? <laughs> uh, if I can't get this puzzle out of my mind, I'll never be able to think about anything ever again. Oh, we got to solve the puzzle. It's very convoluted, the uh, reasoning for this, but uh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Puzzle number 78, crate crowding. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. 
Oh no! Okay. Uh, you need to get through the storeroom, but there are countless crates of different shapes and sizes blocking your way. Select a crate and hold down A to move it. Uh, it's a sliding block puzzle, guys. It's an actual, legitimate, honest to goodness, sliding block puzzle. Okay. Uh, does that mean I can move you partial in partial steps? Oh, I'm gonna hate this. No, I can't move him partially. It does actually have to be a full path that we are creating. All right. Uh, I guess let's just do it. <laughs> Not much we can really say about that other than that. I'm going to do this so we can get this red into the top right corner. Let's move this over here. Uh, yeah, let's move this down. Because I feel like... Uh, we're going to end up in a situation where... We need... Uh, yeah, we need, we need stuff to be... I mean, I don't, I don't know... The, I've commentated so many sliding block puzzles. Like, why am I having trouble with commentary this time? <laughs> I just... I can't... Um, muster the energy to pretend to care. And that's kind of... like No, I, don't, I know. That's, that's a really unfair thing to say. I, I, there's nothing inherently wrong with it. It's fine. Uh... I need to... Yep, okay. Alright, move up there. See, the problem is, yeah, it needs to go basically straight across and down one. We don't have any free... We're definitely not doing this in the minimum number of moves, by the way. <laughs> I definitely don't have any free uh, let. So, that uh, orange can either go there or it can go here. There's no other place that orange can go. So, now we've got the orange in the bottom left. I think that's a key component to this puzzle. But it is not the end of it. Because really, we need... Oh, no, no. This needs to be down one. And then this needs to be in the top right corner. Can I move this into there? No. Uh, it needs to be in the top right corner. So, yeah. I pretty much need to do that. Uh, then I can move this... Oh, no. I can't move this anywhere. But I can... No. Uh, ah! <laughs> oh, no! Wait, wait, wait. Okay, no. Let's do. Let's think about this properly. Move that there. Move that there so I can move that there. Okay, with that there... I can... I've just basically put everything in a circle, haven't I? I need to get this to the right. I need that to be on the left of it. How do we do this? Because that's in the way. So I need to move that to the right. Enough that I can move something to the left past this orange one. I reckon. So yeah, let's do this. 74 moves. I'm pretty sure it's a new high score. <laughs> Just not the right direction of high score. Move that down. Move that to top right. Perfect. Uh, but then I need to get that green one up, which I can do with this. We can move this back to the right. And yeah, I'm going to do that. Because now that is on the left. It's perfect. It's fine. It's all good. Did it in less than 100 moves. Really, what else can you really hope for? Shirley's planning block puzzles for breakfast. That that's not a good uh, that's not a good diet, dude. I mean, they're usually made of plastic or wood. Like, y you might be a dog, but you can't just go around eating sliding block puzzles. I believe me, I've tried it. <laughs> that cheesy steak. Now we know the answer to that puzzle. I can think clearly again at last. Now, what? see, that was 
That was a bad sliding block puzzle. It, it wasn't a bad puzzle. It was just, uh, it was on the difficult end. So, yeah, it's, um, it's my bane. Like, if you've only seen this and not the previous Leighton LPs, then, oh, it is my bane. And they've, Leighton 1 especially has so many of them. I've not LP'd that, and there is a good reason for that. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what's the thing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Have you seen... Have you, right, have you seen Shady? Yeah, he remembers. You've seen him? Did you think he looked fishy as well? It was probably a fish. <laughs> oh, he saw a fellow wearing glasses. He was weaving about like a lost soul. Seems to be heading for the wharf. Yeah, because that's another area that exists and we've not been to yet. <laughs> if you hear him, mate, catch up with him, miss. Because we just have to keep going back to places we've already been. That's just fine. You know, it's, it's basically a, a little bit of an almost artificial length of this. Just put some puzzles in our way. And I'm okay with that. You know, more hint coins, more places. We get to revisit all the NPCs. Alex, uh, not Alex. Uh, Hans is here for reasons unknown. Uh, yeah, I guess when we come back, we're going to go over to the wharf and maybe that'll be the end of the chase because we've, we've kind of run out of uh, river locations. <laughs> Alright, next time, uh, that's going to be the thing. See you next time, folks!